What? <laughs> oh, Nathan, what happened to your leg? Why wow. is your leg wrapped up, bro? You know what, guys? I'm glad you asked. Wow, it slipped a little. Ooh. Owie. Yeah. God dang. <laughs> Jesus, I don't like you scratching near it. It itches. Uh, I don't feel good after that. Fuck you for that. I don't feel good after that chip at all. Fuck you for that. I already said it was going to be a bad idea. I knew what I was getting myself into. Like, I hated the after part more than the hotness in my mouth. Same. Just shitting all day and feeling like my bunghole was getting eaten by acid. <laughs> Bro, I went home yesterday. And I was like, fine. I laid in bed, my stomach kind of hurt. I was like, oh, that's typical. I'm going to have to shit in the morning. I get up to go pee. And my stomach, it's like, they, like the, the chemicals were separated. But I stood up and they like mixed together. Literally. And my stomach was burning. It was like bloating up. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck? I just wanted to get it out. So I went over and I was like trying to make myself throw up. But then I was like, oh, shit myself. So I go to the bathroom, take a shit. Then I got to throw up again. I was like, fuck. Well, you had to throw up? Yeah. Like, no, like, I forced myself to throw up at first. Because I wanted it out of my body. Oh, hell no. And the no. fastest way to do that was getting it out. <laughs> I didn't want to wait to have to shit. I didn't want to wait for that. Did it burn coming up? Did you throw up? Yeah. <laughs> I hated it. But then I was, like, super hot because, like, my stomach's hot. So everything else is just getting super hot. I'm getting all sweaty. So I fucking turn the shower on cold, get in the shower, and I'm just like on my hands and knees just throwing up in the shower <laughs> while God. cold water's running over me. And I was there for like an hour and a half, back and forth from the toilet to the shower. Yeah, I started shitting at like 2 in the morning, and then it like got bad at 4 in the morning. Uh, I'm like tired as fuck because literally i just been shitting. <laughs> All morning and all day, basically. It was funny. Bailey texted me and he said he peed in it. He thought he had an Oh, yeah. This morning when I got up and peed it, dude, it felt like hot lava coming out my dick, bro. No, for real. When my eyes were watering earlier, my eyes would burn, like, with my eye, Like, they still are. When my eyes, like, I just did that. My eyes kind of watered. And it, like, burns my eyes. It I was, never, ever, 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 ever want to try any of that ever again. It was a complete violation. I'm going to, like, take a break from spicy foods for, like, <laughs> a month. <laughs> Dude, and my problem also on top of it was I was eating Cheetos before and salsa. I think the fact was that I didn't eat anything yesterday, and then we did that didn't help. Like, just empty stomach and spicy. It was It was horrible. I guess that there's shit that's supposed to be harder, like the death nut and shit like that. Death nut, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that's supposed to be pretty fucking hot. Yeah, fuck you. I'm not trying that shit. No. It's just a nut, though. It can't be that. That's all I'm saying. I'm like, it's no way it's going to be hotter than a fucking massive chip. It's just a nut, bro. It's just a what, dude? Just a nut. Brent Bailey, you're having too much fun with the nut word. So the, way, the way Kel's fucking looking at me right now, I ought to smack you, bro. Why? <laughs> Look at Nathan and do that. Do what? <laughs> He's over here licking his fucking teeth. Jake snuck. Everybody he needs to fall <laughs> out. Or, except Gib, but he knocked him down. Who is he fighting next? Uh, or did Anderson he just... Silva. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be a huge one. I That's... obviously go for Jake Paul. I seen the. I'm stupid, bro. I'll put my. I already have fifty dollars on Jake Paul. I had fifty dollars on Jake Paul since he was gonna fight Tommy Fury, and since that canceled, then I had fifty dollars to the same person on his team. That canceled, so now we got fifty dollars on Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva. Easy money. Everybody's like, oh, Anderson Silva. Blah, blah, blah. No, Jake's gonna sleep him. Like, absolutely fucking level the guy. It's gonna be. <laughs> the guy? He's so level. Do you watch his fights? Do you watch his fight? Oh my god. You know, Tyrone Woodley, one of the top strikers, three time champion. Uh. Honestly, yeah. And UFC. Yeah, but he is also. Yeah, but so is Anderson Silva. I mean, he's still in UFC. Anderson Silva is but that's no, because to Tyron Woodley, his thing was like he was a striker, and now Anderson Silva. I just think boxing and MMA are completely different. MMA and UFC is more untamed. You can kind of do whatever. Yeah, with boxing, you have to be very like precise. 
coordinated and you should just look up Anderson Silver Fox and clips out of this. Listen, I don't need to. The problem child is gonna knock out the spider. <laughs> the problem <laughs> child has a problem. Flat in the spider. The problem child has a problem. Jake Paul is going to squash Anderson Silva. Because he's a spider. Get it? Because he likes squash spiders. <laughs> Who do you go for, Bailey? I don't know. Off the bat, I just said Jake Paul because I've known him, known of him longer. I don't know who Anderson Silva is. Anderson Silva's a legend. Whoop his ass. No, he's not gonna whoop his ass. It's not gonna be like a beating, like at all, unless if it's Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Paul's gonna fuck him. I mean, he's that, gonna that what, dude? No, okay, yeah, that was, that was a weird place to. <laughs> You're weird, bro. You're fucking weirdo. But, like um, on stage or in the back? Like, what's going on? No, nah, he's not really. I don't think he's really gonna fuck him up. It's just Jake Paul's got that power punch. And Anderson Silva's up there in age. Anderson Silva's like 45. Yeah, and that's up there in age for no, fighting. Not. For fighting, yeah, it is. You got clap? No. Do you know who doesn't got clap? Me. I got STD test. STD free, baby. Can we get him? <laughs> but no, yeah, I got an STD test. Your boy is a STD free. Man. Nice. Good job. You probably got STDs. Probably. probably. With all the <laughs> people I've had sex with. Lots of women. Lots of them. Pussy <laughs> Slayer. So when he yeah. went to that strip club. No I mean, he got a lap dance before you or me. I know. Shut up. <laughs> but it cost money. I thought that's something to achieve. <laughs> <laughs> I wasted it my is, money. It's, it's, uh, it is an achievement. Win. You know why it is it's an pay achievement? It's pay to win, dude. Because I had 200 <laughs> runs in my hand and no one came up to me. That's your fault. No, dude, that's true. That they... Oh. I want to be Vegas like my second home. I want to go there and I want to be able to make money while I'm there so it makes sense. Because going there and spending money makes no sense. I want to blow money... But I want to make the money to be able to spend to live that lifestyle. So you know what that is? Buying a property in Vegas. Yeah, right. <laughs> How much is that going to cost? Mm, a Definitely lot. Definitely the more. It makes so much sense. Not North Vegas. I will not move to North Vegas. We're south. No, we stay in the hotels because we'd be making so much money off of blackjack. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that is a bad idea. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. God. I've had How'd that go for Travis? Listen, Nathan. You don't he played against a machine. Nathan. The machine is always going to be rigged no, against no, you. Duh. He played, he got lucky the first time because we bounced from machine to machine. He'd get good streaks, then move over here, get two bad games, go over here, get four good games, go over here, get a bad game. And Nathan, he just kept fucking playing the machine. I like think that. you have too high of expectations for Blackjack. Well, I've seen some documentaries, and if there's money in blackjack... Well, yes. Without cheating. Yeah, well, like ca card counting, right? That's, that's not cheating. I, I know. That's I know that's what you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. Trust but me, I've seen the same documentaries as you have. But a few. But there's... you got to understand... There's an MIT documentary where there's an MIT team, and this guy fucking literally created an LLC business, got it like... Like, he had a business, and it was called Strategic Investments, and the in like when it explains the business, like, what is your business... It is to profit and um, share strategies about the game of blackjack. That's literally was their business. But playing perfect blackjack and counting cards, you have one percent chance higher. You will statistically make money over time, right? But that doesn't mean you're not going to lose money in the short but term. But listen, uh, like if you go there, like let's okay, say let's care. say you you plan a trip the fact for that tomorrow, can play around right? With Twenty thousand dollars. See, but and, but because Tyler, they sit there and do low hands, like okay, fifty dollars, fifty. I understand. The, okay, and like, okay, buddy, oh, come this in. Is high, but uh, high. This is the high. This is the high. I I know for a fact. <laughs> so then you throw in fifty grand, like fuck all the fifties you and lost. And then you get kicked out of the casino. No, they just. And like, also, even if you're at high, yes, you do. Even if no, you don't. They don't catch on to you right away, Tyler. Unless you make it obvious. But if well, you're if like, you're sitting there doing that, Nathan, they're gonna. But if you're just like, eh. If you do it, uh, if okay, you randomly bet 50 G's on one game, yeah. But then you're not okay, going to be making your money. $50 to 50 G's. It, <laughs> on, it would be like, it would be like, for my level, it would be $50 to Well, if they see that you're consistently betting higher when the count is higher, no. They're going to kick you out. It just happens, dude. It's fucking blackjack. <laughs> they're like, oh, you're winning. I mean, they will kick you out, but they're, until you're making like, Millions from the casino, or you're like no. very obvious. 
I mean, not all the time, obviously. I, there's a guy, Stephen, I forgot his name, who went to Seattle, bet on casinos, right? right and he would be losing money. And first time at the casino, he's losing money, but they can tell he's counting cards and then he gets kicked out. Because they're probably sitting there watching him on cameras. Go like, That's every casino. I'm pretty sure the dealers are also keep track of the count, right? I'm pretty sure they're trying to keep... I'm pretty I mean, sure I'd, they are. They probably try. Or, yeah. And so they're like, oh, the that's count's high. Oh, this guy's now randomly it, betting higher. Huh. Listen, that's different when you're talking about Seattle and Vegas. I'm not talking about Seattle. So imagine Seattle on drugs. They're not getting... Dude, there's so many other people to pay attention to, though, is the thing. Blackjack's like the main game you go to swindle. Who are they, are they going to go pay attention to the slot machine people? Uh, there's other games. <laughs> and there's other sh- stuff people have got to do. Kill, did you know casinos give you free drinks? We fucked yeah. up. When they're walking up and they're like, you anything to drink? And we're like, no thank you. Because we thought it would be like $20 a drink. That They're free. Oh. To keep us there gambling. I hate that now. <laughs> Especially when I say that until 4 in the morning. Do you want to go to Vegas again? I'm going to Vegas again next year. Okay, yep. Well, yeah, we're going to Vegas again next year, actually. But I kind of want to hit it before that to kind of just, like, test it. <laughs> you want to test the water? Round trip right is back? only, like, yeah, $300 max. Uh, it's honestly not that expensive. We take, like, $1,000 each. That's room, board, and everything. Go for three days. Fucking see what we can do. Say, fuck it. That money is fucking money. <clears throat> yeah, no. Maybe next year. You don't want to just hit a quickie? No. Maybe, like, if there's a concert there, a UFC event, something cool. Other you know, than just maybe going November maybe. or whatever the the race. Track. That's when we're going though. That's confirmed. Oh, okay. That's the next time we're going. That's in twenty twenty three November. I, I forgot if that was next year. Or it's gonna happen this year. No, if it, see that when I saw it, and it was like November. I was like, oh. That's... Wait, what? It, they're just racing through there, or they're building the a whole race track? They're no, they're they're, they're in the middle of building the race track right now. Oh, uh, we were yeah, in an Uber. Formula were you One in trick. Uber? It's gonna uh, be a Formula One track through the strip. If this and it's just going to be there forever they're they going to get rid of it after huh? or are they, is it going to be like there forever no like it's going to be there forever it's you're not just going to take down a racetrack that's no, what I was that's what I've been but, like, wondering but they're going to shut it down it's going to be a road like, and that's gonna weird like, dude the strip <laughs> is like Vegas is money that's what is fucking nuts to me I mean it's going to force people more on the sidewalks so many people are going to be on sidewalks and that's how people make me I was thinking about it I'm like well, yeah, I, I guess if people are driving through someone something. walks on the road gets hit by an F1 car <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be so cool. See, do you know what I think the coolest thing about that is? What? About that whole thing. Is those people driving the F1 cars are the only people that are going to be able to experience driving through Vegas that fast. And be the only people to experience Vegas with no traffic. Like, <laughs> no. Because imagine all the lights in Vegas and all the buildings, right? Holy shit. They're the only people that can see, like, it just zooming past them. They're the only type of people. You can't do that if you're a jet flyer, anything like that. You, you can't, like, just be on the road to Vegas and just see... <laughs> Like, that is badass to me, that they get to experience that. That is pretty sick. Bet you I could. I mean, bro, you can't might even go to jail, but... Kill, you can't even you win get into at... Uh, you shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> Go-karts. How do you expect to drive through Vegas that fast? I don't want to hear it. God. Champ. How fast have you drove your truck, Tyler? Uh, not as fast Yeah, shut the you. fuck up. Ask about my leg. Ask about what? <laughs> Uh, okay, I guess that. I mean, I ooh. love that. We can't do anything scripted. <laughs> ask about my leg. <laughs> I was like, ask about my leg. <sighs> oh, Nathan, what <laughs> happened to your leg? Why wow. is your leg wrapped up, bro? You know what, guys? I'm glad you asked. Wow, it slipped a little. Ooh. Owie. <laughs> God dang. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus, I don't like you scratching near it. It itches so bad. I bet. Oh, that feels so good. I don't know how well you guys see that. I see it way too well. Can you please take it away? No, it's Why are you so appalled by it? That's terrible. It's stitches, bro. That's yeah, it's just stitches. You Don't. saw it when it was open, bro. I know. Dude, have you terrible. seen the picture of when it was open? That was gross. Yeah. Or, I mean, he was there. Or, did, or no, was he? I don't know if he took you to... No, Krista did. Okay. But I'm not sure. It was the uh, location. Basically...